I think, I think you made a good point in the sense of usually, and, and unfortunately, this is a reality of almost every government agency, regardless of what it is, but they don't necessarily hand you a very nice kind of checklist of, hey, this is what you need. If you, do, if you approximately wow. reach yeah. this set of things, we're going to be like pat you on the back and go on our way. Right. No. It, it, it's, it's, really, it's, it's rough. It's a little intimidating. Yeah, um, for sure. And, and it's on a short time frame. And, um, and it's very easy to get something wrong. It is. It is. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, if you get audited. So I, I highly recommend to you know, anyone listening to this, um, if you have any concerns that maybe you're doing things um, less than optimally with your I-9s, um, or even if you think you're doing everything right, but you just have like that little modicum of doubt in there that maybe, maybe not, right? Um, and, you know, this stuff is really easy to mess up. So, uh, you know, there's a, there's a high chance that not everything is, is perfect. Your best um, course of action as an employer is to do an internal audit. Just whenever, right? Like now, there's no time like the present. That way you see like what your problems are, what needs to be corrected, what types of corrective actions you can take. Um, maybe you have I-9s missing, you know? Mm -hmm. um, now you're supposed to do them within the first three days, but it's better late than never, right? right? So you're gonna get kind of less in trouble, <laughs> right? Like you'll still get fined, but it's not gonna be as bad as if you just have nothing. Than if you said, you know, we did an internal audit, we realized that these, this list of individuals didn't have I-9s completed within the time frame that they were supposed to be completed, but we completed them when we discovered. And, and, right? and that it's, probably goes to payroll, right? So they're looking at when the check, first check right. got issued versus That's right. when and, you, they um, signed the I-9. There's I actually like a calculator too that you can use. Um, it's on immigration's website. It's not as fancy as a calculator. It doesn't like do the computations for you, but it, it gives you like, this is the calculation that you can make to know if you can purge this document or if it's still in the retention period. Okay. And honestly, as like someone who's responsible for this aspect of um, onboarding and you know HR at their company, which a lot of times at a smaller company, it's not actually an HR person. No, no, it's it's, it's the, like the business owner or it's a office manager or it's you know just an assistant or someone that is not like quite to the level of an HR professional that this is like. All they do all day and so those people really are gonna probably need some training to be able to get things right, right. so like this stuff is definitely stuff that whoever is responsible for this at a at a company needs to be trained on and then you know i highly recommend the internal audit as like your first line of step difference. in figuring out like how bad is it and um let's fix stuff and get everything kind of uh, get correct our, our mistakes and then get everything on, the, on a better path moving forward so that from that point on, you can start doing things the right way.